Hi again, today Shantai and I are going to give you the, the complete posture. Okay, now, now why the posture? So that you can be perfectly balanced, so you can do anything you want in dancing. If you're not perfectly balanced, you're a little bit off, you have to hold back because you're afraid you're going to fall. So you're missing a lot of the freedom, a lot of the total enjoyment that you can get. We want you to be totally enjoying this dance. Now, we already uh, talked about bending your knees. This seat is your anchor. It sits a little bit, okay? Then next, we break here and we lean slightly forward. Now here we run the risk. If we're trying to sit and we lean forward, we run the risk of sticking our back end out, and that's not, that looks funny, and it's not good balance anyhow. So the only way that you can have your anchor and your angle, okay, is to do an ab crunch right here in your stomach, okay? So we go, boom. We call it the Incredible Hulk, okay, and that's it. So we crunch that. So if we crunch that right in here, okay, that allows our spine to be slightly forward and to have our seat underneath us. It's the only way to do it. Now you can't do it with the, the peacock breast like we do in, uh, remember this is very different than what we do in competition and exhibition. In competition and exhibition we have that chest open, we're real big like this because we're dancing to the audience. We're trying to do a show, okay? But when you're dancing socially at a club, you're not doing a show, you're dancing with your partner, so you're dancing with each other. So there's a whole different set of rules that you have to use, and this is one of them, okay? So we just crunch that out a little bit. Very good. Then also to break the stiffnesses, we take the shoulders and we just squeeze the pecs a little bit. So we were ruined when we were kids, when mom and dad said, stand up straight, throw your shoulders back. Okay, that's good posture. No, that was military posture. That's very good if you're going to march around like a robot. But good rhythm posture is, ah, we relax everything. So we bend the knees, angle forward, crunch the abs, and we take our shoulders just a little bit and we squeeze them. So instead of pushing this out like that, which makes us very rigid, okay, if we squeeze them a little bit, they're very relaxed and now they can dance, okay? So and we're here, just like that. And we're ready. Now this does a good thing too. When you squeeze your pecs, that pops your elbows out in front of you. And this is your exercise, do this. Everybody push your chest out, and you notice your elbows naturally want to go back. Now, uh, squeeze your pecs, and your elbows come in front. Open your pecs, squeeze your pecs, open your pecs, squeeze, and stay there. So now, okay, when you have your pecs squeezed, that pops your elbows out in front, and if you get in a closed position, that's how you stay. That's your, you don't have to do anything strange after that. You just, now this is one thing, that the ballerinas have right. Most of the stuff they do in ballet, we can't use in couple dancing because we're a couple. It's not solo dancing, so a lot of the solo stuff doesn't work for couple dancing. But that's one thing they have right, is when they do this, there we go, that balances the human body very well. Now, if I'm gonna get in a dance position with her, she'll just turn this hand up, I'll turn that hand up, and we'll fill in that oval that we created. So it works out very good for us because we put a body in there instead of just going around like this with nothing in there. And that's our posture. So we're actually holding on to each other with our pecs, which we'll talk, uh, talk about later, and we can do our dance. Da, 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 bum, 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 bum. Then with this back, this is your rhythm button. If you push that in, this will also start dancing. Your rib cage will move, your shoulders will move, and you liquefy yourself, as opposed to if that button's popped out, it's very stiff and you're only dancing in your bottom. So here we both push our button back, our rhythm button. That closes our top to our bottom, but also closes our left side to our right side. We push it in, and then we can dance and have a lot of full movement, not just in our bottom, but also in our top. Okay, so there you go. Play with that a little bit, and we'll see you next time. Bye.